Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today, we are going to be rebuilding a bonus stepper unit on a 1972 Williams Superstar. The reason why I'm going to be rebuilding it is, let's bring the camera over here so you can see it better. It doesn't want to reset all the way back to where it starts from. So let's um, manually do it. As you can see, it's slow. I have to make it go over. See? It should be doing that automatically. Now this, it isn't going back It should either. It's just all jacked up. There we go, it's so jacked up. I just had a free part of it. As you can see, yeah, it needs a good rebuild. causing all different issues with scoring where when you hit the rollover targets to advance this they are not advancing because it doesn't have the oomph because it's dirty. It does reset pretty good by itself but I noticed during gameplay it was sticking a little bit so we are, we are going to rebuild it. One thing I always say when you rebuild something take pictures. I did mark this right here and right there so when I do put this back together I know this is going to be exactly right there but let's take a picture anyways and let's take a picture of the other side so we can see how all the springs and everything go together let's see if I can zoom you in wrong way there I'm gonna take a picture I want to see how every spring is even though I got this on video I can go back on a video I still want pictures it's easier just for me to look at some pictures. All right, first start of rebuilding it is we have to take the side. Um, this I call it the octopus. We have to take this off. In order for us to take that off, we got to use a screwdriver and a wrench. So let me get those. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is let me see if I can get this in here again so you can see it a little better. You can see the hole right there where my finger is. I'm going to take the screwdriver, put it through the gear and in a hole so the shaft can't turn and then we just unloosen it. Now since I got it unloosened I'm actually going to unscrew it from the base now because I need to replace all the um, coil sleeves and it's going to be easier if I can lay it on the side. So let's do that too. I have that loosened already. I think maybe we'll get these coil sleeves taken care of first. I can't believe how many screws they have in here. Each post has three screws. So I wonder if um 
Two of them were stripped at one time. I don't feel like it. I wonder if they just did that for extra um, support. I'm guessing they did that for extra support because they knew this thing would be underneath the play field getting beat up by all the pop bumpers firing and everything and then plus this thing firing all day. Alright. I normally don't use power tools on this but let's take that screw off too. It's just a little faster. There we go. So let me get those coil sleeves done quick. Then I can stand it back up just to make it easier. Let me flip this up so I can see it. Coil sleeves are easy to do. They're just two little screws on the bottom right here and right here. You can see this one a little bit easier, I believe. You just take those screws out and the coil will slide back and you can take the little stop off. And there's my little stop. Looks pretty good. Slide that back. Ooh, looky that. Looky, looky, looky. All dirty. Get my new ones. I can find them. This one's going to take two different sizes. It's going to take this size. What is it? A half inch by one and five sixteenths for the smaller coils. Machines. I like them clean. A little naphtha. Little naphtha will clean that right off. Look at that. Just to make it pretty again. I don't like using naphtha. Man, that stuff makes you high. Wipe that off too. I was um, cleaning the play field the other day and I left the basement with such a buzz. I had to just like, clean it and then I left. I'm like, I'm done. I can't do no more of this. I really need a magnetic thing. I'm just going to use this stuff. Put that on the lock. I guess we'll just use it. I'm just going to use it to get them going. I'm going to use my screwdriver to finish them. The reason why I don't like using a power, you can strip them easier. By using a manual, and I, I, I also squeeze the coil like this, the coil stop. So it keeps it tight in there. The reason why I like using the manual screwdrivers is I can feel how tight I'm getting them. Alright, that's one. There's the other one. This is used as a bigger sleeve. I still got a lot to do on this machine before I deliver it. So gotta clean all the relays and stuff. I've showed you that on other videos on how to clean relays. Looks decent. Okay, get that off there. Oh, this one had the metal sleeve. Metal sleeve equals original. I 
don't think anybody are putting new metal sleeves in unless it was like back in a day but everything new gets the nylon sleeves and that one uses these uh, one a half inch by one and three quarter inch See, that's dirty too. Make it all pretty again. Put that in. Get that in there. And that. Alright. Put that quail stop back there. We'll grab my electric screwdriver because it's magnetic. I should start using this more, especially in those tight weird spots where I drop screws like crazy. It works so good I just pulled a coil stop right off. Let's get there. Squeeze that together again. <clears throat> All right, coil stops are off. This next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to wind this spring. I always count how many winds it has, and that's how many I will put back in. This is one up good to one, two, three, four, four winds. All right, next thing I'm going to be doing is removing this leaf switch because the leaf switch is blocking the gear, so I can't slide it off. I love these four in one screwdrivers. You got four screwdrivers in your hands. So these I will just back out. Actually, I'm going to remove one screw fully. Another one I'm going to loosen. And this sh should just swing out of the way, hopefully. Like that. I'm going to take this screw and set it. No, that's not because it's not tight. Let's do put it right in there because that's tight. There. Now it's out of my way and the screw will get lost. That's all clean. I'll we'll take the screw on the octopus side. Put it over here with the rest. Octopus just slides right off. Contacts are beautiful on it. The washer and the nut. I put those right next to each other. Now this should come straight up. As long as I get everything out of the way. The springs. Ta-da! And it's not that dirty inside. It really isn't. It's nice and clean. It's dry. No lubricant but it's clean. Let's wipe it off. Where's my super loop? There it is. Yeah, it's clean. Okay. So that means we have other issues. Take the spring off there. I just want to um, see what's bound up. 
Nothing. Nothing's bound up there. Let's take that back off and we'll check the other side. Nothing's bound up there. So what do we mean? I wonder if the coil sleeves were just all crapped up and they were just internally um, binding it up because this is all moving freely. Hmm. Where did I put my swamp? That is weird. Could have been tightened down too tight too. That could have been. So these are all pretty decently clean. They're a little dirty, but I still am going to wipe them all off. I'm just putting naps on to release all the gunk that's around everything. So my Q-tip. That is weird. I expected that shaft to be full of garbage. It wasn't. I was looking at my camera to make sure my battery's still good. So I had that the other day. Right in the middle of a video, it goes dead. And I didn't notice it. So I had to go back and watch the video to see where I left off. It happens. You can take this all completely apart, but as you can see, since this is everything just totally moving freely, it's still in beautiful shape. So I am not going to tear all these arms off, but what you can is you can just take this, this C clip off here. Let's zoom this in so you can see the stuff better. You can take the C clip. It's right on here. You can take that off and pull the shaft off and throw a little lube in there. And same with this. Take the spring off and then the washer comes off and then you can get in there and lube everything on there. But as you can see, everything is working good. Where did that come off of? Oh, that was around the shaft there. This fell off. It, it went around the outside of the shaft. All right, let's widen her back out. Let's get this baby back together. Oh, I'm going to clean off this side too with the naphtha. Let's flip it around and get a nice clean side. Then I'm gonna take it with my Scotch Brite and clean it off. That's okay, that was clean too. Let's bring you over here. That's clean too. So I don't know. Maybe it just needed to be lubed up. It's just a green Scotch Brite. I use that for cleaning the contacts off. Bring some nice luster back on them. You can use sandpaper if you wish, but I only use the sandpaper if the Scotch Brite isn't doing too good. Which it's cleaning, but there's still some bad spots. So what I will do then is take my sandpaper. This is just the same sandpaper I use for um Cleaning the switches, 600 grit, what I try. This is a used piece. That's all this is. It's a used piece that I, I use, 
I keep them from after I clean the switches. I keep them all around just for doing stuff like this. Get the most use, use out of them. Still gonna have to work on those a little bit better. I wonder if it was just because it was so dry inside. It it wasn't lubricated. I wonder if that's why it was still binding up like that. I don't know, but we're gonna lube it up. And we're gonna get her going. It's pretty good. Like I've said in my other videos, all these steppers are basically the same. Some are continuous where you just keep going around in a circle. Like this one, this one go to a spot and then work its way back. Some of them will go to a spot and then go back all at one time. This one um, was stepping backwards. So it would step up, let's say five times, one, two, three, four, five. And then it would step back one, two, three, four, five. Some of them will just keep going in a circle. And then the other ones will want to go up to five and then slam back to one. Alrighty. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna wipe that off with the clean side of this. Okay, let's get to the octopus. I'm gonna wipe these off just to make sure there's yeah they're just a little dirty. I'm just wiping the crud off of them. And then I will take my little bit of sandpaper. Actually, I'm going to use the 3M. As you can see, I use the hell out of this. I just keep my finger on it like this so I can't bend it as I'm cleaning it. Because these are easy to bend. My finger is now supporting it as I clean it. If you see me going over them twice, it's because I'm OCD and I did see a little crud on it. Alright, that's clean. Let's get my super lube. And here's a gear. Like I said, that thing is really, really clean. Alright. We're going to take a little bit of this and put on my pinky. Well, yeah, because my other fingers are dirty. And this I will just rub on there. Not a lot. What I will do is I will go over this with the clean part of the rag and take the excess off. I just want to make sure I got enough on there. We need. I'm going to take the gear, put a little bit on my finger for the gear. Put it over that whole shaft. Really good. Wipe my finger off on the nap, though. 
about to get this back in here. I'm going to show you something as soon as I get this back on there. Here we go. Um, if you can see it. Let me zoom you in. This gear could only kind of go on one way. Um, if you noticed on the gear, I should have showed you another side. So let me take this back off and we'll show you. There. It's got this notch right here. This notch gets stopped by that well, stopped by here. Right there. And that lets you know that the gear is in its rest position because you can see on right here there's no teeth. So this gear is only designed designed to go so far and can't go any further. Do I get any grease on there? Yeah I do. So I'm putting it back that way. Get in there carefully. Pull this up, pull that up. Now this I'll go back around one. Two, three, and four. I'll go back on there like that. Perfect. Looks like the octopus. I'm sure people are going, that's not an octopus, that's a. I think it's fingers, some type of fingers. Anyways, that bushing here, I don't know if that was binding up too, or not, put a little grease on that, put that back in there, these also have just a little bit of grease on them. Notice I marked it right here, and that's going to line up with that. But this is only like notched in a certain way, so it can only go one way. Now, here's another thing this has a lock washer on it, so you don't have to He Man wrench it down. Chances if you do, you're going to over tighten it so much, it's going to bind on itself. Alright, that's down. Yeah, it's still a little. Once you do it how it fires. Once you try it like that. Perfect. If I do it how it fires. I was doing it too slow. That's why it was binding. But if we do it by how the coil fires. I have to snap my finger off it actually to know it works. Alright, my battery went dead again, so I don't know exactly where I left off, but I'm gonna show you. Um, when I um, snap this and let it go by how the coil fires, it works perfect. If I just do it 
like this, it, it works okay, but it's still missing just a little bit. But if I snap it, like the coil does, it works perfect. Remember that coil fires hard. So that's it. It's worked and rebuilt. So I don't know, um, I'm guessing maybe that one aluminum coil sleeve that I took off was binding it and just the dirt from both the other ones but the sleeves were unclean they didn't um, I mean the plungers were clean they didn't need to be um, cleaned off or anything they were in perfect shape um, there was no lube on the shaft at all I mean it was dry so I'm guessing that was another issue also so yeah but now the, the stepper works perfect all these little um, teeth fingers let me just show you. They're all laying flat perfectly. That's another thing you want to make sure you got too. These are all perfectly laying flat. I've had some where they're, they're on an angle and the side is riding. These are all laying nice and perfectly flat. That one could use just a little adjustment. But um, let me snap all these around. They're all hitting at center. They're all perfectly adjusted now. So that's what I think it was. I think this was actually pretty clean except for the two old coil sleeves. I think just shaft was just dirty on it and I just needed a you know a little cleaning of the gears and needed the shaft lubed up and it needed the um, face where all the contacts were lubed up just a little bit but now it works perfect so I'll just screw it back down to the board and get uh, some other parts on the machine all right thanks for watching um, give us a thumbs up if you can like us on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade Subscribe to us at Mark's Basement Arcade on YouTube. And um, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.